Did you know Frank prior to this documentary, and what did he bring to the project? Did I know him prior to this? No. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I and knew about his reputation, but not about uh, not personally. I didn't know that he was a fan of the of the band or had a had a, a singing group <laughs> of his own, or or to that for that matter, uh, any of the wonderful pictures that he's made. I wasn't really familiar with, other than Indiana Jones. Yeah. What did you feel he brought to the project? Well, he brought his experience. Yeah, he, he, he brought his, uh, his, uh, well, the right questions always get the right answers. So hopefully that's what happened. And I, I think he got there. I get, he got there. He made the right, asked the right questions and gave us, I think, a good picture of, of how the, uh, how the band, be, uh, the origins and the evolution through the different decades. However, if I have a criticism, it's because we don't have enough there's too much still left in the cutting room floor. You know, there's a lot more to tell. And I, I would like, in fact, I asked him today about that. And he says, well, we'll have to talk to somebody about that. So who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll have some more to tell. Through the making of this documentary, was there anything that made you want to revisit a certain moment in time? A certain moment. Well, revisit. I'm always looking forward, actually, but trying to create new music. Uh, yeah, I guess in a sense, you know, I have I have some new material I'm working on that I was hoping to share with uh, with Brian and Mike, and and see if there was some way we could continue the uh, tradition a little bit. You know, maybe write some pieces of music that are um, that follow up on on stuff we've. Been, We've started but haven't finished. You know, there's stop, a lot of stuff on the shelf uh, that, that needs to be finished. What is your favorite Beach Boys song? Again? What is your favorite Beach Boys song? Uh, well, I like California Girls for that. Um, I like a lot of them. There's, there's really no one that's, you know, better than another. But I like California Girls and I like, uh, <clears throat> I like, Good vibrations, wouldn't it be nice? I mean, it starts to, you know, can't really stop once you get started, but California Girls encompasses the dream, I think. It has the, the magnificent suite. It's a suite, a musical suite. It has many uh, uh, components to it that are, are, are um, well, they have that feeling of a, of a, of a journey that you're going through and, and the magnificent harmonies and and the nice echo chambers here at Western Recording Studios where we're sitting right now where we recorded the song. Yeah. Perfect. Thank that's you. a journey. Thank you, oh, that's perfect. Okay. So so the Okay, first question. <sighs> Through the making of this documentary, was there anything that made you want to revisit a certain moment in time? Well, in the making of the documentary, we got a chance to reflect on so many things, and it, I think it's darn near impossible to, uh, after more than 60 years, to, uh, to focus on a, a, a particular time. But I have to say, though, to answer that question specifically, the Christmas parties around the piano and the organ and the harp and my living room the growing up with all the Wilsons and all the cousins and uncles and aunts and neighbors and friends um, that was special that was special my cousin Brian and I um, would sing the traditional Christmas songs but then we go upstairs to my room and try to uh, get Carl to come and maybe my sister Maureen who played the harp and we'd we'd sing doo-wop and Everly Brothers and and all kinds of great fun songs from the day so that, that was, that was Pierce's love of music right there. Um, did you know Frank prior to this documentary? And did I know Frank? Well, I knew of him. And when you look at Frank's resume, you get your mind blown just a little bit. And so to, <laughs> so to uh, have Frank take, uh, take, her, take the controls, take over the helm, of, of the Beach Boys story 
It was a blessing, really a blessing. Um, adding to that, what did he bring to the project? He brings to the project a sensitivity of what people really resonate with. I mean, he has an incredible intuition and perception of how, how and what people want to see. And, and the Beach Boys story has never been told so comprehensively as it has been, and, and I think Frank's at fault for that. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's rectified that, that issue. <laughs> Last question. What is your favorite Beach Boys song? That's impossible to answer. However, Good Vibrations is probably the most, you know, unique and avant-garde. It was avant-garde in 1966, and it still is. And, um, you know, it's just it's such a brilliant song. But it's according to your mood. If you're in a somber mood, you might be In My Room or Warmth of the Sun or God Only Knows. Um, but if you're in a reasonably happy mood, you might have Don't Worry Baby or California Girls. But if you're up, an upbeat mood, fun, fun, fun. You know, I get around. <laughs> uh, surfing USA. You know, so it's impossible to say what your favorite is. It's what your mood is. We, we uh, supply, the, <laughs> supply the answer, I think, musically. I love that. Thank you. That's it. First question. What is your personal connection to the Beach Boys? My personal connection to the Beach Boys is that I grew up in a musical family just like they did. And I grew up about 20 miles south of Hawthorne in a town called Newport Beach. So uh, I was trying to be in a band myself uh, when I was a teenager and I kind of wanted to see why their band worked and mine didn't. What is it about the Beach Boys that makes their music still so popular and relevant today? I think the Beach Boys music is relevant today because um, it stood the, the test of time uh, because it makes people feel better. It makes people feel good. It's joyful, but it's also a connection where they're telling stories and they have the emotion in it that we all feel growing up. We've had a breakup, we've had a disappointment, and they give you hope and joy in the music and, and that connects to people decade after decade after decade. Can you tell us about filming the end of the documentary at Paradise Cove and the relevance of that location? Well, the Beach Boys haven't all been together for quite a while and uh, they've gone their own ways. Um, and uh, there's been some ups and downs and they hadn't really spoken in a long time, which I discovered as I was making the doc. So my dream was to bring them all back together in a sort of family reunion. And um, my good friend and I, Jimmy Buffett, used to have cheeseburgers on the beach at Paradise Cove. And there was a sign that said, this is where it started. And it was where their first album cover was shot. And I thought, well, this is a perfect place. If I'm going to bring them back together, it's got to be here. And it turned out to be magical. I got them all to agree to come. That was the hardest part. And then we sat there and it was like nothing had happened. They were friends and, and they laughed and they sang together and they cried and they told stories. And it was just like a big family reunion. And so it all worked out in a magical way. And it was kind of a perfect ending. What is your favorite Beach Boy song and why? Oh, I'd have to say that my favorite Beach Boy song is Good Vibrations, um, mainly because it's so complicated musically, uh, not only in the pr production and the arrangements, but the vocals are incredible. And I know that they, after talking to them, I know that they really worked hard singing some parts 25, 30 times. Brian was kind of a taskmaster and really wanted to get things perfect. But the arrangements and the harmonies and the blend that they had uh, and the words, I mean, everybody feels good when they hear that song. And it has a driving rhythm to it that's unlike anything else I think that they did. <clears throat> but the real key for me is what pop group uses a theremin in their track. And 
that's got that sort of that nobody else uses. And that's the thing you remember. So th this this creation that that they did of good vibration makes it my favorite song. <laughs>